Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be me telling you guys what to buy to survive having a period. Basically me just giving you guys some Amazon must-haves for menstruators. For anyone out there who has a period, I'm going to be telling you 12 items that you seriously need to buy if you want to survive having periods. They're all on Amazon, so that's why they're like Amazon must-haves. Amazon must-haves for menstruators. If you've just recently gotten your first period or like you think you're about to get your first period like really soon or if you've had periods for a while and you just like need to know some items and like stuff to have to survive having periods because I mean like periods do not come without expenses. Periods honestly like if you want to survive them you need a lot of stuff. It's just really so important to prepare for having a period. You really need to know what to buy. I mean I had my mom to kind of tell me and like walk me through everything I should have for surviving periods but I know a lot of other people out there might not have that and so I'm totally here to tell you everything that you will need to survive having a period. I will link all of the products that I mentioned in this video down below for you guys so that you guys can just like go click on the link that I will have down below if you're interested in buying one or more of these items just to make it easier for you so you don't have to actually like hunt for it on Amazon yourself and yeah I really don't want to talk anymore I want to give you guys a list of period essentials that you will need if you want to survive having a period so let's get into the video so I actually have my computer right here because I like obviously wrote down all of the things that I'm going to be telling you to buy to survive having a period in this video. And I'm also going to be having like a little list of what the item is like obviously called. And it's picture on Amazon over here so that like you know what you're buying before you buy it. So yeah, I'm gonna start off like very basic. So the first thing that you seriously need, and I honestly would not be like anywhere in surviving with periods without this item, you seriously need to buy a heating pad. And I'm sure a lot of people have told you this, but like if you have periods already and you have really bad cramps you don't like really know what to do for those cramps get a heating pad my heating pad has literally saved me like so many times like whenever I get cramps basically you just lie it on your stomach or like wherever you're having the cramps sometimes I get like really bad back pain when I'm on my period and so I'll like press it against my back basically just press it like anywhere that you're having pain heat is really good for cramps and also it's not even just the heat that I found with heating pads that help it's also the pressure because if you think about it it's like a really like thick kind of hard blanket that's like hot that you're pressing against wherever the pain is like that'll cure the pain so fast I would highly Highly, highly recommend if you're gonna get like anything to help you with period pain to get a heating pad another huge thing that you should really buy to survive having periods it's a serious must-have that I honestly didn't think I would need very much when I got my first period is extra pairs of underwear like just buying a whole pack of extra dark colored underwear when I got my first period I was like oh, I'm gonna be super careful I'm gonna wear like huge long pads and never leak <laughs> I cannot count the number of times I have ruined my underwear so I would highly recommend getting just a huge pack of some nice cotton underwear because if you didn't know cotton is a material that you should really like wear with your clothes and especially your underwear because it really helps that area to like breathe and especially when you're bleeding so much down there you don't want like the blood to be like gathering down there and like the air isn't able to like circulate if you know what I mean so as with all the items in this video I will have a really good pack of some cotton underwear that's black link down below so that you guys can just like go check that out and buy it if you're interested because I think it's like a really good brand of underwear Underwear, and I also think that it's just really helpful to have a pack of underwear like in your drawers so that when you inevitably leak when you're on your period you will just have a bunch of backup pairs another investment that I would seriously consider making when you get your first period or just like if you're struggling to find clothes to wear on your period is to get period pants if you have watched my videos for a while like you've watched my period days in my life I will link one of them right here but literally if you have watched any of those you know that I have two pairs of like my infamous period pants I'm actually wearing a pair of them right now to film this video and I I will link these red plaid pants that I'm wearing right now like my period pants down below and the other pair of black period sweatpants I can't really find them on Amazon but I did find another great pair just really nice good black pajama pants those will also be linked down below because I just think it's so important to wear these whenever you're on your period I said this in my period days in my life are like one of them but when I get my period I literally put these on and I do not take them off of my body mine is showering the entire time I'm on my period they're just so comfortable and it really just helps to ease any worries that you might have about leaking because that's the whole point of like getting period pants like red plaid and black period sweatpants I mean if you do leak it won't show up and just wash them every single time you come off your period and then just put them right back on whenever you are on your period another huge huge item that I would recommend getting not even just I mean it is a period related item and I think it's honestly like a really unique period related item but this is just so important for mental health in general and that's why I'm including it in this video because periods can like really interfere with your mental health I mean it's been proven that periods cause like really bad mood swings and so by getting a journal this is a really good way to just kind of have something to express any of those mood swings that you're having.
having like on paper I've been keeping a journal since the beginning of the pandemic and honestly it is one of the most special things to me just having a journal I mean it doesn't even have to be for your period but just to kind of relate it to this video getting like a period journal you can even get it in like a red color I will link one down below that's like in a red color the one that I use the one that I really highly recommend you can like even write in red pen you can write down the day you get your period and then after that you can write down how you're feeling like your cramps and everything and also your mood swings like I'm feeling sad today or like angry today or just irritated kind of down and depressed today because of my period and I also think that it's something so helpful to use to track your period if you don't want to use a calendar or an app and you want like a more personal approach to tracking your period another huge one but honestly <laughs> I will admit is chocolate you need chocolate and specifically dark chocolate You need to stock up on that before you get your first period when you're on your period You just need chocolate because chocolate is one of the only things that actually saves me from horrible cramps and mood swings <laughs> And especially dark chocolate because dark chocolate has actually been scientifically proven to really help your mood and also your period pain One of my favorite chocolate brands is Ghirardelli chocolate I love their baking chocolate and their dark chocolate chips But they also have really amazing like just actual chocolate to like actually eat and not bake I will link some of my favorite chocolates from them down below. Okay, so this is another huge one I use these during winter when it's like really cold and my hands are super freezing and these are basically I think called hand warmers But you're gonna use them for periods. I mean, maybe you haven't used them before but I use them in the winter and I just squeeze them in my hands when my fingers are like feeling like they're about to fall off and it really helps warm up my hands but this is not just for heat okay so let's say that you are having cramps on the go you're in school and you just get your first period you're having like really bad cramps or you're just in school in general and you're on your period and you're having really bad cramps like obviously you can't whip out your heating pad in the middle of school or anywhere that you are and so using these little heat warmers is such a subtle and like discreet way to really soothe your cramps so you would just take one in your hand and if you're like sitting at your desk in school take a few and press them up against either your back or like your stomach wherever you're having your cramps because as I was saying earlier in this video heat really really helps with cramps and also pressure really really helps with cramps and any period pain that you will get also like if your neck hurts or like your head hurts when you're on your period because that is another huge period symptom just like honestly doing this in class and like holding one of those little hand warmers up against there another major period item that you should really have on hand to survive periods and I feel like no one ever says this is ice packs you seriously need this because I don't know why I mean I was just talking about it but I feel like everyone thinks that the only period pain you get is cramps and back pain but I get really bad headaches and like lightheadedness whenever I I'm on my period and so I've found that when I have headaches and like even when my mom has a headache We use these really good ice packs that actually also double as like heat therapy You can use them if you want cold therapy or heat therapy I will of course like all the items in this video have them linked down below for you guys And you don't even have to use these for headaches I use them for headaches But you can also use these for like cramps like if you prefer cold on your stomach to like kind of distract you from the cramps I mean, that's actually a really good idea I might try an ice pack on my cramps next time I have cramps Just kind of pressing it against any areas that you're having like extreme pain especially with headaches during your period ice packs especially the ones that I will have linked down below that also double as like providing you with heat therapy those can be really really helpful another huge thing that you really really need to survive the kind of skincare part of having periods is a bunch of face masks because maybe this is just me but my acne always tends to flare up whenever I'm on my period I mean it's actually scientifically proven that when you're on your period your glands get all oily and so it's really helpful to have some face masks on hand to calm down your skin when you're on your period and it's not only just good for this but it's also good if you want to kind of give yourself some self-care when you're on your your period just like kind of lie down on your bed for a little while like maybe with your heating pad on and a nice cool refreshing face mask I really love the Sephora brand ones I will link some down below for you guys like to go click on and buy obviously if you're interested in a really good brand of some face masks this next item that I'm about to tell you guys is not really like a necessity I would say but it will probably help you survive having a period I mean I've never tried it before but period underwear is another huge must-have if you're the kind of person who doesn't want to use a ton of pads or tampons or something like that period underwear can be really helpful I've never personally tried it myself and I don't know like a perfect brand but when I was browsing on Amazon for some good period underwear I actually did come across some that look really good and I will of course have them linked down below I'm sure there are other good brands I mean you can do your own research on Amazon if you want to be like more environmentally friendly this is another great thing that you can have just on hand for your period or like if you want it as a backup like if you want to wear a pad on it so then you won't like ruin any underwear that you have like when you're on your period another kind of basic item that you should really really have to survive having periods are wipes and I know it's really weird but I'm going to link some baby diaper wipes down below as 
the wipes that you should buy if you want to like survive having a period just because they're like obviously like sensitive for babies and this is really good if you're gonna use these wipes to like kind of just clean your area down there like if you're feeling like kind of just dirty and like congested from all that blood down there this is really good to not only have just at home but also portable also if you have like a really like quick stain that like you just saw it leak or like you leak onto the floor or a surface or something this is really good to like just kind of have on hand also if you're on the go like you can't access a sink or something like that this is also really good to have on hand to like kind of just wipe your hands after you change your pad or something like that this second to last item that I'm about to tell you guys is one that you literally need to survive having periods if you are someone who constantly leaks and constantly makes stains on stuff like myself this is just such a huge necessity it might be like one of the biggest like necessities and must-haves of this video and that is stain removers specifically oxyclean this is the kind that my family personally uses of course I will have it linked down below just like all the other items but basically it's really good to have on hand because I always leak on my underwear sometimes I leak through my pants when I'm on my period and I obviously don't want to let a little period stain ruin any of the clothes that I leak on when I'm on my period my mom is honestly a pro at this and she actually like kind of taught me how to do it myself because she's had to remove so many stains from like my underwear and my pants before it's just a really really good brand of stain remover so basically to use this you're gonna take the spray and spray it on the stain like as much as you need to like cover all the parameters of the stain and then rub it into the fabric like really get in there with your fingers you really have to like scrub 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 I mean obviously don't like tear the fabric or anything and then let it just kind of sit for 10 minutes and then after it has sat for like around 10 minutes just wash this item normally like you would with any clothes this is honestly just such a huge huge tremendous lifesaver for any stains that you like create when you're on your period it's a serious must-have and the last period survival necessity item that I'm going to be telling you guys in this video that you need to buy to survive having periods is honestly one that I honestly think is like one of the most unique ones of this video and those are pain relief patches I've never used them before but like I honestly want to buy some myself whenever you have cramps or like back pain or like neck pain when you're on your period you just take one and I think you just kind of put it on there and I honestly don't really know how it works but it just really helps to soothe the pain and I've seen these used before for pain but like not specifically for period pain but just like put it on wherever you're having your period pain like for example when you're on the go and like you can't really use the hand warmer or like the heating pad and like if you have like really long hair you can put it just kind of here if you're having some neck pain when you're on your period and then your hair will just kind of like hide it or like under your shirt or something like that if you're having cramps or back pain I will link some really good ones that I found on Amazon like ones that looked really good on Amazon down below just like with all the other items in this video this is just another huge item that you need if you want to minimize all the period discomfort that comes with having periods Anyway guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching it And I really hope that this video was able to like give you guys guidance and really help you guys out Because I had my mom tell me what to buy when I got my first period But I know a lot of other people might have that already and just want some more advice or might not have that And like need someone to tell them what to buy to survive having periods like the must-haves that you need If you have a period if you have a uterus as I said in the beginning of this video and like throughout the video All of the items that I have mentioned in this video will be linked down below for you guys like all of my personal Amazon recommendations So if you heard anything that like you actually Actually want to go buy in this video to survive having periods then you can just go down below to the links that I will have down below and click on it and go buy any of the items so yeah before you leave please like this video and if you made it to the end of this video comment down below period survival because honestly when I'm on my period I feel like I need everything and anything to survive having my period because like you can't just be alone with like your pads and tampons like you need so much more to survive all of the discomfort and like pain that comes with having periods and also please subscribe to my youtube channel because if you didn't know this already I do so many other period videos it's like kind of insane how much period content I make and so like if you're looking for like a lot of period tips period advice period guidance and like period relatability in general then definitely make sure to subscribe because I do so much period content I will link some period related videos that I think you might like if you enjoyed this video down below for you guys to check out and yeah that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching it and I love you guys bye